ago, our planet looked very different from today. There was a huge supercontinent called Pangaea, where all the land was stuck together in one massive piece. During this time, something amazing happened. Insects grew super big, way bigger than any bugs we see now. This was the age of giant insects, a time when these creepy crawlies ruled the land. You wouldn't want them to live today because we won't be able to coexist with them. So here we are showing you the giant insects that once ruled the Earth. Around 300 to 250 million years ago, during a time called the Late Carboniferous and Early Permian periods, Earth was home to some seriously big bugs. This was when Pangaea, the supercontinent, was around, and the world was quite different. Back then, the air had more oxygen, almost one-third more than what we breathe now. This extra oxygen was like a growth booster for insects, making them grow to sizes we can hardly imagine today. Imagine dragonflies as big as hawks and millipedes, as long as a car. That was normal back then. This period was like a real-life land of the giants, but for insects. It's not a bird, not a plane, but a Meganeura. Meganeura was a massive dragonfly that lived around 300 million years ago. It had a wingspan of up to 2.5 feet, which is about as wide as the average kitchen table. Unlike today's dragonflies, Meganeura was a heavyweight, ruling the skies of ancient Earth. It had a body structure similar to modern dragonflies, but everything was just way bigger. These giant dragonflies were predators, snatching up other insects and possibly even small amphibians for lunch. With their large compound eyes, they could spot their prey from far away and swoop in quickly to catch it. The world of Meganeura was lush and green, with lots of wetlands and swamps. This was perfect for them because, just like dragonflies today, they laid their eggs in water. Their larvae, or baby dragonflies, lived in water before growing wings and taking to the sky. Scientists think that the high oxygen levels in the air helped Meganeura grow so big. Plus, there weren't birds back then to compete with or eat them, so they could be top predators in their world. It's pretty wild to think about a bug being the scariest thing in the sky. Now watch your step, because Arthropleura was not your typical millipede. These critters were enormous, stretching up to 8.5 feet long. That's longer than most sofas. They crawled around the forest floors about 340 to 290 million years ago. Arthropleura were herbivores, munching on decomposed plants and dead leaves. They played a big role in their ecosystem, helping to break down plant material and keep the forest floor clean. Their huge size has puzzled scientists for years. Like Meganeura, Arthropleura benefited from the high oxygen levels. They didn't have lungs. Instead, they breathed through tiny holes in their bodies. With more oxygen available, they could support their massive bodies. There were no big land predators to bug them, so they could just crawl around, doing their thing without much worry. It's kind of like how we can walk around without worrying about dinosaurs chomping on us. Back in the day, the Earth's atmosphere was like a different world compared to what we have now. One big reason these insects got so huge is because there was a lot more oxygen in the air. We're talking about 35% oxygen, while today we have about 21%. This extra oxygen was like a growth potion for these bugs. Insects don't have lungs like us. They breathe through tiny tubes called tracheae. With more oxygen available, their trachea could bring more oxygen to their muscles, letting them grow bigger and stronger. It's kind of like having a supercharger for their bodies. Another thing is, back then, there weren't any birds in the sky. No birds meant these giant insects didn't have to worry about getting eaten while they were out and about. This lack of predators gave them a free pass to get as big as they wanted. It's like being the only big fish in a pond where you can just keep growing without anything stopping you. Plus, the plants were different too, providing plenty of food and great living spaces for these giant insects. Now let's talk about the venomous scorpions as Pulmonoscorpius. Pulmonoscorpius was a giant scorpion that would make anyone shudder. It measured up to 28 inches long, about the size of a skateboard. 
These scorpions lived around 330 million years ago and were real nightmares for small animals and other bugs. They probably hunted in warm, damp environments, using their size and powerful stingers to catch prey. Just like modern scorpions, Pulmonoscorpius had a venomous sting, and its size suggests the venom was extra powerful. Their large pincers were likely used to grab and hold onto their victims. The oxygen-rich atmosphere at the time may have helped them to grow to such a frightening size. And if you would look up one last time, you'll see Meganeura's big brother, the Meganeuropsis. Meganeuropsis was another big-time player in the world of prehistoric insects. It was similar to the giant dragonfly, Meganeura, but even bigger, with a wingspan of up to 27 inches. That's longer than a typical yardstick. Meganeuropsis lived around 280 million years ago and was a fierce hunter. It caught and ate other insects using its incredible flying skills and speed. These giant griffin flies had massive wings and strong bodies to support their aerial acrobatics. They were part of a group of insects known as griffin fly, which is related to both dragonflies and damselflies. The oxygen-rich environment helped them grow big and strong. Without any birds around, Meganeuropsis had little competition in the air. So next time you see a small dragonfly, just be thankful it's not as big as a Meganeuropsis. As time went on, things started changing big time for these giant insects. First off, the oxygen levels in the air began to drop. Remember how that extra oxygen was like a growth booster? Well, now with less of it, these bugs couldn't get as big. Then, the climate began to change, becoming cooler and drier, which isn't the best news for bugs that loved warm and wet conditions. Around the same time, new predators started showing up. Birds started to evolve, and they were a real threat to these giant insects hunting them down from the sky. So, it was like the tables turned, and the hunters became the hunted. It's wild to think about how different our world used to be. These insects were the kings and queens of their time, but like all great reigns, it had to end. So next time you see a bug, remember that it's a tiny descendant of some real-life giants from the past, and think about how our world is constantly shaping the life around us. Isn't it amazing how everything is connected?